Good afternoon, everyone, from the IBD Newsroom. Welcome to Stock Market Today, sponsored by Interactive Brokers. On today's show, we're going to take a look at, well, not such a great close for the uh, market as we conclude the week. We're also going to take a look at strong earnings from Paylocity, uh, take a look at a rejuvenated advanced micro devices, and also take a look at a defense contractor that is finding support at the 50-day moving average. Hi again, everyone. Ken Shreve uh, joined by Ed Carson. Ed, it looked like, uh, well, the Dow was positive not that long ago. It looked like we were going to get a pretty decent uh, close, but uh, kind of uh, closed with a whimper here. Yeah, faded away. I mean, it was not a really good day for the NASDAQ all day. I mean, we weren't at the lows of the day, but certainly closer to the lows than, than the highs. Uh, you know, we had a few days of positive action, which is nice. Um, we got above the 50-day on, on Thursday for the S&P and the NASDAQ, but it wasn't a fall-through day. You right. know, we haven't gotten the confirmation. This is why you should be really cautious. You know, you don't try to call the bottom. You wait a few days, see if you can get a real trend. Yeah, three uh, solid sessions for the market Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Actually, the NASDAQ uh, reclaimed its 50-day moving average yesterday. Got a little resistance at the 50-day line today. It ended with a loss of uh, 1%. Uh, the NASDAQ, the Dow was down three-tenths of a percent, and the S&P 500 down about seven-tenths of a percent. So we are four days into a rally attempt, and we'll see what, uh, what the market brings us uh, next week. Okay, individual stocks. Uh, we've been talking a lot about the enterprise software makers, uh, Paylocity, uh, the latest enterprise software stock to come out with uh, with strong earnings. Uh, Ed, what do you make of uh, the Paylocity earnings report? Well, well, it was pretty darn strong. It tripled earnings from a year ago for a second straight quarter, well above views. You know, just really powerful growth. Uh, it's a HR payroll processing firm, and it's been doing really well. And a lot of a lot of other software names did well today. I mean, the software ETF IGV was down a little bit, but not as much as the market. And you know, saw a lot of winners. There was you know, Zscaler was up a little bit, you know, CrowdStrike and some other names that were doing fairly well. Yeah, Paylocity, a provider of workforce management software. I didn't realize that they target companies with employees of 50, or companies with employees of 50, or, or companies with um, 50 employees or less. So they target small businesses and a nice little niche market there. Yeah, it's a niche. I mean, because Workday and some others are in bigger fields. This is a ni yeah, niche that a lot of others are not in. So this is really good. Okay. Uh, taking a look at advanced micro devices. Uh, not a great day for chip stocks, but uh, advanced micro systems up uh, or uh, advanced micro devices up powerfully for the uh, for the second straight uh, session. They announced a new server chip uh, yesterday and uh, AMD, you know, one of the one of the few bright spots in the semiconductor sector. Yeah, a lot of chips were down today because and this is one reason why the market was down is because, you know, first is that it seemed there was a report that the, the Trump administration was going to delay some licenses that would let people supply China giant Huawei again. Uh, so that hit chips and it hit AMD overnight and it did end in the morning. And then there was also Trump said that he might delay or cancel the next uh, round of trade talks. So that hit chip stocks a lot, but not AMD. And it just shows you it's nice to be in the leader. You don't want the laggard. Uh, it's not necessarily providing great entries because it was like surged over its 50 day line you know, after some other situations. Now it's going over sort of a consolidation, sort of to, you know, hit a 13-year high, but not really that clean, but still, this is the clear leader in that group. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago when big sellers were in uh, advanced micro devices when they reported uh, earnings. They gave kind of a sluggish revenue outlook for yeah. the current quarter, but uh, buyers have definitely uh, come back into the stock. All right, let's take a look at defense contractor HXL. This is ticker HXL. Uh, we are still in a correction, but when a stock uh, finds support at the 50-day moving average or on the weekly chart, the 10-week moving average, uh, it you know presents an alternate entry and, and Hexel is actually showing uh, pretty good action uh, today and it's been a, a nice strong performer. Yeah, I mean the defense stocks in general are doing very well. Hexel uh, has several quarters of sort of gradually accelerating profit growth. Uh, you know, notice and like it, it's above the 50-week line, above the 10-week line as Ken said. And actually if you look at the RS line, that's actually was hitting new highs even as the stock is still, you know, a few percentage points off those highs. You know, it just shows you this is something you want to be looking at. In this type of market, we're down a few percentage points. Yeah, some stocks are obvious, like AMD or Paylocity. They're hitting new highs, but others might be consolidating. Which ones are really, you know, holding up mm -hmm. in this market? And this is one of them that's hitting that. Actually, this is one of several 99 composite rating defense stocks. You sort of think of them sometimes as sluggish or other things, but there's some small names, some big names. Got some on leaderboards, some on the IBD 50. 
a lot of really good stuff going on here. Yeah, even with the stock market in a correction, it is uh, uncanny. We talk about it every day. Still a lot of stocks out there that are acting uh, pretty well. Hexel is one, and there's a bunch of others that we've talked about on the on the show and uh, uh, you know on the homepage of Investors.com. So, all right. Well, we're we're going to hope for uh, you know a good week for the market uh, next week. Couple of house cleaning items. Don't forget uh, about our new uh, show hosted by Alyssa Corum, Investing Strategies with I. BD, that is being done in conjunction with the uh, NASDAQ. So uh, you can check out some recent shows uh, at investors.com forward slash investing strategies. And also a reminder, our latest uh, podcast is available uh, with Arusha Paris and uh, our own Alyssa Coram talking about rookie investing mistakes and uh, how to avoid them. Uh, so be sure to check out uh, investors.com forward slash podcast uh, for the latest. All right, folks, that'll do it uh, for uh, today. Uh, we will see you back next week. And until then, have a great weekend.